In this video, we will talk about a Facebook pixel hack. Generally, what Facebook recommends is if you have a website, it is important even before you run any Facebook campaign to deploy the Facebook pixel. Now, I you see, I have installed Google Tag Manager on my site and I'm using Google Tag Manager to deploy the Facebook pixel. So if you come back to my Tag Manager, you see Facebook pixel. This is the pixel I have put on my website, right? And in my past video, I told you how to stop Facebook from taking additional information from my site by using this particular function FBQ and passing these arguments to Facebook set auto config to false and then this is the this is the pixel idea this should be done even before you initialize the pixel right but here and uh, we would talk about a small hack so generally what happens is whenever people come to my site you see imagine I run one campaign on Facebook and people click on that ad and people come to my site right the moment people come to my site what happens the, the moment people come to my site, pixel is already pasted on my website. So pixel will fire. And this pixel will send information or a request to Facebook saying track a page view, right? So if Facebook is tracking a page view, that will track a page view for everybody who comes to the site. That means if a person sees my ad on Facebook and then visits my site and then it's not even 10 seconds but he happens to go back or he happens to click on the cross button, right? So what happens is it doesn't really matter. If you come to my site, the moment you come to my site, the pixel will load. Why pixel will load immediately is because pixel is always recommended to be placed in the head section of your website. And when you place that in the head section of your website, the first thing that loads when a user visits my site is the head and definitely pixel loads. So even before a visitor comes to my site and doesn't even spend like 10 seconds or 8 seconds and, and pixel is already taking information. So if you want to remarket to these people, there's something wrong with my website, but if you want to remarket to these people, right so you'd also have those people in your bucket who came to your website but did not even spend like 10 seconds on the site so what's the point of remarketing to these people who came and and did not even spend like 10 minutes of 10, 10 seconds on my site so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a small hack here so you see here what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a small hack in tag manager saying load my facebook pixel only for users or only for those users who come to my site and then they wait on my site for 10 seconds that means only those people who happen to visit my site and stay for longer for 10 seconds those people will be tagged with my pixel that means my pixel will load only after they spend 10 seconds on my site not sorry sorry not 10 minutes it's 10 seconds so what i'm going to do is definitely it should fire on all pages it should definitely fire on all pages right but for this what i'm going to do is i'm going to even create a trigger so i'm going to create a trigger here let me create a new trigger let me create a new trigger so i come to trigger i say ten second trigger so come here you are not going to page view i'm going to use something called timer right. timer this is in milliseconds so it is uh, 10,000 why because one second is 10,000 milliseconds so I want it to fire for 10 seconds so I put 10,000 and I want to limit it to fire only on once but I want this to fire only uh, okay let, let, let me say hey, let, let it fire on all pages right let it fire on all pages so what I'll do uh, right. so let, let me give page URL contains Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Because you know, definitely all my pages will have that. So, so yeah. So I'll give this page URL contains. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the tags. Right. I'm going to remove the trigger that we already had earlier. That is all pages trigger, and I'm going to replace that trigger with a new trigger that I've created, which is a 10 second delay trigger. So I'm going to click on edit and click on remove it and then select the 10 pages 10 seconds trigger now this pixel will fire only for those people who come to my site and then they happen to stay on my site for longer than 10 seconds so this way what happens is when you try and do remarketing or when you create custom audiences you will not have those people who came to your site and left within 10 seconds that means your list will be more refined your list will be more accurate and this way when you run remarketing campaigns you know they'll be more effective 
but again it is purely a hack right if you want to use it you can use it or if you want to ignore you can ignore but a lot of people say prashant let 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 my pixel fire on all pages so what i'm going to do is i'm going to my ads manager in my ads manager i'm going to create a custom audience so i will show that as well so if you come here audiences let me come to audiences in the audiences you come here click on audiences So you come to audiences you create custom audience here and when i click on custom audiences i create a website custom audience and here right time spent but here it is not giving you the exact you know time right you know you, you want to filter out those people this is the bucket that you create so you can exclude these people from your audience right but here it does not give you the exact seconds whereas it gives you five seconds right people who spend you know maybe five percent of the time and this bucket you can exclude from all your remarketing audiences that way what happens is your ad will appear to those people but it will exclude those people who spend only little time on your page right but rather than doing this it is good because tag manager comes with all inbuilt facilities inbuilt features you can simply create a delay timer and trigger it to fire on all pages but after 10 seconds so this way whenever a person comes to my site the pixel will tag him only after he happens to cross 10 seconds on my side so this way when you run remarketing campaigns they'll be more effective right it's just a hack again i'm saying if you want to use it you can use it right so we kind of use this if i have a page which is a long landing page and i want to tag those people who come and spend like 10 seconds and more on my landing page because if i want to run another offer to him in my in my funnel strategy that is really going to affect me rather than targeting everybody who happened to just come to my landing page and leave within like five seconds or four seconds right no point in retargeting those people because they did not exhibit interest so you might waste your advertising budget if you chase these people so you know i kind of use these strategies whenever i come across different clients and different you know situations right so again it's purely up to you and uh, yeah i'll see you with another video until next time good day